This is Tom Dillon, the Lifetime Liberal. Today is Monday, September 28th, 2020. Happy birthday, Vicki. The title of this rant is Chris Wallace, please go after Don the Con. Uh, so yesterday there was a, a big report from uh, the New York Times indicating that they had received and reported a lot on Trump's taxes uh, over the course of the last 20 years, paying a very, very nominal amount of taxes, uh, basically indicating that he's quite the tax fraud, he's quite the tax cheat. Uh, this is something the Republicans have known all along. This is something that everyone else has suspected and known all along. Um, uh, he got his way out of this in 2016. I don't know if he can get out of get his way out of it now, but let's just bring up that right now, very tight election. There are about 5% undecided. This is a very big report. Every single Republican must go on the record as to what they feel about this. They've tried to dodge this all along. This has to be especially for every single United States senator who is up for re-election. Because, again, they've known this guy has been a con uh, the whole time. They know that he is scum. <laughs> they've known this the whole time. They need to go on record for this. Um, this is also showing uh, that he owes a lot of money in foreign countries and is susceptible, let's just say, to blackmail. It's also showing that he owes a lot of money that's coming due in about, uh, I think I said about $400 million coming due within two years, and he doesn't show in any real income for all of that. That's why he is needed to charge the, the Secret Service exorbitant fees uh, for golf carts, for staying in his hotels, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and this foreign influence has got to be a big, big thing because this will loom even larger if he gets reelected. And how can this fully be exposed? Because I've looked at Fox News uh, and uh, One America News Network. They're not reporting any of this at all. They're just talking about uh, the Supreme Court nominee. Chris Wallace has to get up there tomorrow night in the debates and go after Trump relentlessly on this whole tax issue. He can't let it get away. Trump can't hide behind Fox News and One American Network. Chris Wallace will make himself even more famous than his dad if he really, really goes after him. Uh, and he, forget this. No questions to Biden. Just questions to Trump the entire time. That's the way it's got to be. We can't have a president who owes hundreds of millions of dollars to foreign, corp to foreign corporations, to foreign governments, to shady oligarchs, uh, to let's just say Putin himself. Because nothing in that report yesterday talked about Russia or the Michael Cohen payments, etc. Guess what? The New York Times is holding that for future. Chris Wallace, you have to go after him. You have to go after him big time. Don't even ask Biden any questions because Trump needs to be held accountable.